Here is what I took off the spruce tree today. So you can see the pile of foliage and all the buds that are just ready to burst. So yeah, the tree is definitely vigorous. So I've reduced the top of the tree quite a bit. You can see how much foliage I've taken off. So I should be safe to kind of take quite a bit of the root system off and it'll still support what foliage is left on the tree. I've got the spruce on top of my tray, so I'm ready to get the tree out of the pot. So here I go. I'm going to grab it carefully here. Actually, I'm going to take away all my stones first. That would be a good first step. But take a bit of weight off the root base here. Okay, stones are gone. Okay, now I'm ready to get the tree out of the pot. So here I go. Just like that. So I'm looking to see if the roots are active and maybe just a little bit on the tips. I'll show you a close up of it. Here's a look at the roots. So very few roots have like a white tip. This one is just starting. There's one here and a couple here. Nothing on the bottom. There's my drainage screens. I'll take those away. Yeah, so definitely a good time for repotting this tree. The root system is not active yet. So I'll get out my root rake and begin combing out the roots. So here I go. So these roots are fairly they're fairly fleshy. You can see they're kind of thick. They're not thin, wiry, wiry roots. They're a little more fleshy than like yews or um, larch. So you have to be fairly careful when you're combing them out. I'd say they're a little more delicate. This tree was started, oh, there's some active roots there, see that? Just starting to get active. This tree was started from nursery stock um, over 25 years ago. I bought the tree at a nursery. I stuck it in my front garden for, I don't know, maybe seven years. And then I dug it up and began training it as a bonsai. So it's an old tree. I can see this root here is totally dead. And you can see it's seen a lot of hardships, this tree. It's had sections of it die off. And yeah, it's, um, it's seen the hardships of life, that's for sure. So I'm being very careful with the root system. I'm going to try and keep the tree alive. That's my goal. So far that plan's working out, so I'm uh, hoping that I continue to have success with the tree. I can't believe it's been, what, 2017 I repotted it, three, four, five years ago. That's quite a long time. So I'm taking my time with the roots, just uh, very carefully removing the soil. Trying not to damage the roots because some of these I may need. Maybe not these longer ones, but uh, definitely the ones closer to the trunk I'll need to go in the new pot. You see, there's some sand mixed in with the soil here from for my landscaping. Once you remove the soil from these spruce, uh, the wood on them is really, really light, so it becomes a very lightweight tree. There's hardly any weight to them at all. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of perlite in this soil. Uh, what I do see is broken up into small pieces. Uh, the soil is definitely heavier than what I would want for a spruce. I'll have to go back and look at that video and just see what soil I used on it. If it was my regular mixture 
and it's just kind of broken down over all the years. I think I'm getting fairly close to being able to wash the root system. Yeah, it's just this one clump here is dense with roots and soil that I've got to kind of sort out. Okay, I think, I think this is good. I, I'm going to wash the root system now. All right, here I go into the water. Goes the spruce. I've got the tree back on the bench here. So I've got a live root here, a live root here, dead one here, that one's dead. These two are alive, that one's dead. So I think the major problem is you can see this one's coming up here. It's kind of comes up out of the soil. So I've got to prune that one back. I've got a, a root coming off of it here, so I could prune the top off. A little risky, but here I go. So that's gone. That helps. There's one growing up the top here. I'll get rid of that one too. Another one here. Another one here and here. Just kind of growing up out of the soil. So you can see here's a thick end. This is a live root. It hasn't started growing yet. It's, you see how thick and fleshy they get on the ends. Here's one that is turning white at the tip and it's just starting to grow. So a good time to repot just as the roots are starting to become active. So now I, I've got to reduce the root system. Uh, you can see my pot here versus the roots. So I need to take a lot of these long ones off. So here I go, cutting the back. Here again. Here. This is a, uh, a basic haircut. Getting rid of all those long roots. So here I am now. So I've got quite a tangled mat of roots here. I'll have to comb that out. I think there's still a bit of soil in there. Oh, that mat just came right out. Okay, so I've got the roots combed out there, you can see. So now I've got to see my pot size. So I need to take some off them, maybe back to about here. So I'll do a, a prune, profile prune. Like that, taking all the ends off those, those roots. So it's looking much more compact now. Um, I think on this side you can see it's sticking out quite a bit. I can take off some of the roots on the edges here, kind of making it a little more compact like that. Let me see how the pot goes with the tree now. So you can see I'm getting closer. I'm not there yet. but. Definitely getting closer, so I, I would say I need to take a bit more off this side. Like that, maybe a bit off the top here. Like that. That's fitting quite nicely now. I'm looking at positioning the tree now.
So I, I kind of want it in this type of a position. I've got a dead root hanging out the back here, which isn't so good. If I rotate that around, you can see it's kind of, this root is dead and it's sticking out. So I need to take that back and I'm going to take it off on an angle quite short, I think, like this. Like that. So it still looks kind of natural when viewed from above. Oh, there goes the bark on it. So, Yeah, it, it still looks natural. I don't think you'll ever see it, but it's there. I think I need to take a bit more off here. I'm a little long here. Just so I can move it over far enough in the pot. And I think that's fitting quite nicely now. I'm going to look from the front here. There's a look at the tree in the pot. Yeah, I, I think it suits it quite nicely. That may not be the final angle. I may tilt it up just a bit more like that. Somewhere in this ballpark anyway. I think it's time to plant the tree. I think I've got the roots pruned. I've got the top pruned. I've got it positioned in the pot. I think all is looking good. I'll remove the tree and get my drainage screen in here. I just need one big one in the middle and then start planting the tree. All right, there's my drainage screen in place and I'll add a base layer of soil. So here I go. Now I'm ready to plant the tree, so I'll position it in the pot. So I wanted it coming forward a little bit like that. Make sure all the roots are safely in the soil. That looks good. I think the position in the pot is good. Yes. All is looking good. I think I'm ready to fill it in with soil. So here I go. The roots are arranged. stable the tree will be in the pot. I may have to put a stone on the one side. I guess I'll find out shortly. Any big pieces of that fur bark I just pull out. Now, does the tree stand up by itself? Oh, it kind of does. It springs a little bit, which means there's air gaps underneath the roots it's springing like that so I'm going to work that soil in more close it's close before I get too far I'm just going to step back and have a look at the tree in the pot I'm stepping back now having a look at the tree yeah I I'm liking it I, I uh, really like the position I think the design is looking good and I think the pot is a big improvement on this tree. I think it's uh, yeah, a big step forward for this tree. All right, I'll continue work. I'm happy with the positioning in the pot. I think it's just the weight of the tree just wants to you know, lift it up in the corner there a bit. So what I will do is I'll definitely 
I'll place a stone there to hold it in place. And the moss will definitely hold it in place too. It'll help. So let me find a stone that I can put on that side of the tree. I've got one stone. I could put this one back here. That helps kind of weigh it down. But I think I still need something in this corner. Maybe something a little shallower. I'm not such a high rock. I can't find any other stones. They're all buried under the snow out there. Hmm. Well, I think it'll do. I, I think I'll just moss it up, keep it well watered, and I think it'll be just fine. I don't even know if this stone does anything. It'd be better on this side, but I don't like it visually on that side. I think I'll just leave it off, moss the tree up. I think it'll be fine. I'm just picking out these big pieces of pine bark. Maybe I should just kind of comb them off the surface here. Okay, I'm going to add a layer of sand and then put the moss on top of the sand. I think that'll be good. It'll hold the moisture in the pot really nicely. Now, let me just prune off that one root sticking up here. And these ones. Don't want any roots sticking up out of the soil. Okay, the sand will be next. Before I add the sand, I better give the tree a water. Keep the roots hydrated while I'm doing the sand and moss work. Give the top of the tree a watering too. Okay, that should do it. Now I've got my sand, so I'm going to apply that to the surface of the soil. Again, this kind of acts like a, a barrier uh, to help keep the soil underneath the sand moist. It doesn't dry out quite as fast on hot, windy days. It's like having a layer of moss on top of your soil. And it's a good indicator of when the tree needs watering. When the sand goes light color, you know the soil's dry. But this one I'll be coating with a, a layer of moss. So you won't see the sand. way too much sand, but it'll wash away the excess. Okay, that is ready for watering once again. Here I go with the water. Washing away all the excess. Okay, now I'm ready to apply the moss. So this is a uh, like a bonus step. You don't have to apply moss. Uh, the layer of sand will do just fine, but I'm going to make this look as nice as I can for today. I'm just putting moss around the base of the tree. Now I'll be careful if that starts climbing up the wood, I'll peel it off. But it's nice to have that moss between your roots. It makes it look really old and ancient. And I just get this moss from the sidewalk out front of the house. It grows between the cracks of the sidewalk and I just peel it off and use it. I've got a bit of a thick clump of moss here and I think it'll look good kind of underneath the tree out front here. 
Right, a bit of a variety in the terrain. So I'm running out of my fine moss. You know, I've got, this is fairly thin. I think that'll do for, you know, some of the areas. It's a little coarser than the sidewalk moss, but it's not bad. Especially if you prune it with the scissors, it turns out okay. I think this moss came off of my juniper. It's the layer I peeled off, so I'll use that. It's fine moss, it's quite nice. Just getting rid of some of that perlite here. So let me rotate this around and I'll do the, the back of the planting here. I'll put that layer right there. I find the moss also helps hold the weeds down in the planting. It doesn't work 100%, but it certainly helps. If you have a layer of moss, the weeds have a harder time getting established. Which is always good. Weeds don't need any encouragement. Okay, I'm getting, getting down to the, the end here. I'm going to completely moss it. And I think that's got it. I think it's nicely mossed up. So again, I'll have to give it another watering just to kind of wash the moss and uh, settle it in so it's going to grow nicely. Making sure it's all pushed down firmly. That looks good. Okay, time to water the tree once again. All right, here I go with the watering to wash the moss. Kind of get the mud out of the moss so it goes a bit of a brighter green color. Rinse my pot off so there's no sand or soil on it. And that will do. My work on the bird's nest spruce is all completed for today. Let's fly in now and have a final look at the tree. I'm very happy with the progress on my bird's nest spruce. I think I not only took it up a level, but maybe two levels today. Yeah, it's a, an awesome little tree. It's a, a bit of a gem, I think, in my collection anyway. It's, uh, it's one of the um, trees in my collection that really shows age and maturity. I think once you know the new growth comes out this spring, it'll look even better. I hope 
I, I, um, I have good confidence that my repotting will be successful. I think I took about a third of the roots off and the roots weren't active yet. So I think it was perfect timing for the repotting. And I'm really happy with the pot by Sophie too. I think it matches the tree really nicely. I think if I had to try and get it into a smaller pot, I think the health of the tree would suffer. So I think, I think this is a good size pot for the tree. I think the pot and the tree look really good together. That is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>